Hey everyone, welcome back. You guys really wanted us to unpack this whole Pete Davidson tattoo removal thing, huh? Seems like it, yeah. Lots of buzz. So we did. Dove into a bunch of articles, and let me tell you, it's more than skin deep. It really is. So, we know Davidson, comedian, SNL alum. Right. Right. But those pics of him at the screening of the room? Ooh! ooh. I know, right? Talk about a transformation. It's like a whole new chapter. Visually, at least. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, less ink, more... I don't know, mature. Could be. Definitely a different vibe. So for those who haven't seen, he's rocking way fewer tattoos these days. Way fewer. Especially noticeable in those recent pics. And remember, he used to be covered head to toe. Oh, yeah. Very much part of his, like, image. Totally. So this is a big shift, and it gets even more interesting when you think about what he's removing. Right. Not just random stuff. No. Right. Like, some of those were tied to, well, Kim Kardashian. You know, very public relationships out there for everyone to see. And now, gone. Yeah, Makes you wonder, right? right? Totally. It's like he's literally, like you said, shedding a skin. And maybe not just the physical one. Okay, so help me out here because I'm no expert. Mm -hmm. What's the psychology behind this? I mean, tattoos are usually about permanence, aren't they? Right. You think of them as marking something significant, you know? A memory, a belief, a relationship. Exactly. So to remove them, it's got to be a statement, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. And for someone like Davidson, who's been so open about his struggles, his mental health. Yeah, that's the other layer here. Right. This visible change could mirror an internal one, you know, a shift in how he sees himself. And remember, he was at that screening with Machine Gun Kelly, who is all ill about the tattoos. Interesting contrast, right? Almost deliberate. Like he's saying, this is me now. OK, but there's the practical side, too, right? I remember reading that Davidson said, Covering those tattoos for film roles took forever. Hours. Makeup artists must have loved him. Sarcasm noted. But seriously, imagine that grind every time you're on set. Yeah, got to be a factor in his decision. Especially at 30. Seems like a lot of people hit that age and reevaluate things, you know. Big time. Like, who am I now? Where do I want to go? It's a turning point. Maybe that's part of it for him. And, like, he's been super open about managing borderline personality disorder. Right? And PTSD. Don't forget, losing his father on 9-11... That's a heavy burden to carry. Tragic. And his dad was a firefighter. Yeah. Which makes that picture of Davidson at the screening even more interesting. He was wearing an FDNY shirt, no tattoos visible. Wow. Almost like he's honoring his dad in a new way. Could be. Like finding a different way to carry that legacy without the need for a permanent visual reminder. So maybe this whole tattoo removal is part of a bigger picture, right? Like yeah. processing that grief, finding new ways to cope. Possibly. And, you know, tattoos are a form of self-expression, aren't they? So okay. removing them, it, it can be a way of, I don't know, shedding a past self. Like a visual representation of letting go. Exactly. And that ties into his mental health journey, too, you know? Yeah. He recently spent time at a wellness facility. Oh, yeah, I read about that. Seems like he's really committed to self-care. Which is huge, especially with his schedule. Over 200 live shows, film projects, and that Turbo Fonzarelli special on Netflix. It's intense. So to prioritize his well-being... Amidst well, all that, yeah. that's inspiring, you know? Big time. Shows that it's possible to juggle a demanding career and still take care of yourself. So, bottom line, we see this physical transformation, but it seems like so much more is going on beneath the surface. Totally. It's about growth, resilience, self-care. And maybe about letting go of the things that no longer serve us. Makes you think, doesn't it? What are we holding on to, literally or figuratively, that might be holding us back? Deep, man. That's something for everyone to ponder. Right. Are there tattoos in our own lives that we need to remove to move forward? Whether it's actual ink, old relationships, or just outdated ways of thinking. It's a journey, right? It is. And Davidson's journey is a reminder that change is possible at any age. And sometimes letting go of the visible stuff can help us find something deeper within. Well said. It's not just about erasing the past. It's about making space for who we're becoming. Love that. Thanks for the insights. This deep dive has given me a lot to chew on. Glad to hear it. Always happy to explore these things. And for everyone listening, keep those questions coming. We'll be back next week to deep dive into something new. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.